Hey, what? Hi, what's up? I'm Zach Gosh, and uh, here with the Need for Speed review. So, uh, so not many of you have seen the movie Need for Speed, but those of you that have, or those that are looking forward to it, I want to give you my review for it. So, uh, so nobody actually gives it what it was, what the credit deserves. Yeah, I mean, sure. It uh, it doesn't have a very strong plot. Like, uh, like uh, the plot, like this, uh, the plot, though, uh, though, uh, though extremely clear, uh, does not, in fact, uh, uh, uh but you know, uh, you don't really get attached to the plot very much. But the plot's not why you see it. Like for me, not having a good plot doesn't make the movie bad. For me, it's the action sequences, and that of course is why I gave Life of Pi a four. So, uh, so the plot is that uh, as quite good. In that, sorry, the plot's uh, the plot's not exactly uh, the best uh, the best plot, but I don't know how they would make it better. Like, uh, but that that's not what we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about the main action sequences. As uh, you can see, uh, you uh, you're seeing him. You know, uh, uh, you're seeing everything get smashed and the cars going really really fast. There's tons of crashes, and uh, uh, those are the action sequences that uh, I uh, I love this movie for. So, uh, so talk the action sequences a little bit. What makes them good? It's that they're uh, exhilarating. So, uh, there are three uh, main action sequences. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, there is the uh, uh, first. There is uh, uh, first. Uh, first, there is the uh, you know the opening race. Then there is the three. Then there's three car race. Uh, both of which don't add anything uh, to it. Now, uh, and then there is the, uh, uh, then there is the, uh, I can't remember what else it is, the bus, uh, the bus sequence, uh, uh, really fun, though completely unnecessary, uh, the Detroit sequence with the grasshopper, uh, also quite fun and enjoyable. Uh, the Nebraska, Nebraska gas station thing, uh, show us a little bit more of the characters, uh, the, oh yeah, um, my favorite was the jumping off, uh, the jumping off the canyon, uh, and then finally there is the final race. So the races were in fact really well done. Like, you have no idea how well done they are. And I mean, extra. No, uh, as a racing movie, this is really good. It beats Fast and Furious, it beats, uh, it beats Cars, it beats, uh, uh, it definitely beats Lego Cars. Uh, this is like the best racing movie of all time. So, uh, so the racing movie, uh, is, uh, the racing movie, uh, this racing movie is in fact, uh, pretty, uh, uh, is in fact, uh, quite good. Just for, it, just for its action sequences and its racing. And also, the film visually looks high def. Uh, looks quite challenging uh, to me, and uh, and it's also quite funny. Let me give you an example. 
So uh, in the sequence, uh, uh, there's this uh, dude that pull. There's a dude that wants to uh, to get away from his office. So instead of doing what he normally do and quit, he would just take off his pants. And when he did take off his pants, uh, yeah, and he's like, peace out. So that was really funny. Also, uh, also the twerk, also the twerky thing that the black guy did uh, in the prison. Uh, and uh and all that cool stuff i think you should see it that's uh, my opinion is that you should see it so thank you all for watching subscribe leave a like and uh, enjoy your day peace out